Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming here today. Um, I'm Becca McHale. I'm one of the co-founders of One Arts. We are so deeply grateful and moved to be here today celebrating the opening of this, our amazing new neighborhood early learning center. We started One Arts eight years ago and have loved all the different things we've been able to do. Art shows, fair housing projects annually, after school art classes and camps, working with IIA and SA, our neighborhood schools, and getting to know the children and families in our neighborhood. We are deeply honored and touched <clears throat> by the support from the city to allow us to expand to be able to serve young children and their families. The city of Burlington made it possible for this school to open. So thank you to Mayor Miro Weinberger and our city councilors. We have Max Tracy here and Jean here today. Thank you so much for their commitment to supporting access to childcare. Thank you to Rebecca Reese and Kara Al Nasrawi from the Early Learning Initiative. We would not be here without your efforts. Thank you as well to Let's Grow Kids, who has been with us every step of the way. This is an organization passionate about advocating for families and for childcare. <clears throat> they have helped us on this journey, being willing to take phone calls, help with any roadblocks, help with questions about regulations, about licensing, and helping us to ensure that families get the financial support that they need to be able to attend. A big thank you to Dee Dee Harris, Paula Bonney, Allie Richards for her leadership, and everyone at Let's Grow Kids. Then we want to thank our amazing teachers and early childhood educators. This school would not have been possible without the passion of Sarah McClellan, who also lives in the neighborhood and worked endless hours to make this space happen. Her compassion and dedication to quality care and personal relationships and her vision for what this place can be is a driving force in our organization. Thank you to Sam Lyons as well for her tireless work with regulations, licensing, and attention to all the very important details. Uh, Sam is covering a classroom today and couldn't make it. <clears throat> Thank you to Margaret Coleman, the other one Arts co-founder for always dreaming big and knowing it can be done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a huge and deep thank you to all of our teachers. We are so lucky to have found phenomenal teachers who bring an ethos of care and community to our children and families. Thank you also to Jacob Hinsdale for offering us this wonderful space. Thank you to Jake Durrell uh, for answering all of our legal questions. Thank you to Saba Abbas for this beautiful mural. And also there's another mural she did inside. Thank you to Steve Guild and his team at G4 Design Studios for helping us with the creative redesign of the space. There are very, very few right angles on this floor plan. <laughs> um, Thank you to Rob Golden and his construction company, Rise Above Construction. Rob worked many long days and volunteered his time to keep us on track and within budget for opening. A truly Herculean effort. Thank you to our neighbor, Amy Hu, for the loving creations she makes for our children. She is the artist seamstress extraordinaire who made sensory bean bags for every room. She also made us the ribbon cutting sculpture that we'll use today, uh, which was a design collaboration with one of our artist teachers here, Michaela Jones. <clears throat> Thank you to local authors and artists, Amy Huntington and Sarah Dillard for sharing their art and stories with us today. Please take a moment to look at their artwork inside. Amy's work is also featured in a story walk that starts at Pathways. And then you head down, there's a map on our door um, you can see pages from her story and, and storefront windows, and then you'll come back up and the last page is here. So I hope you can check that out. That'll be up for the month of May. And lastly, I want to thank you all for coming here today so we can appreciate together what we all built together. Thank you.
And now I'd like to invite the mayor to share a declaration and say a few words. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Becca, thank you for that. Um, and I, I got to say, when we uh, decided really uh, about a decade ago that the city of Burlington would try to um, play uh, a positive role, uh, expanding the number of high quality child care opportunities in the city. Um, we hoped uh, and imagined that we would have days like today where you can walk in and see a new space um, with that is in incredibly uh, well designed and well uh, outfitted with, for, for uh, this critical task of, of taking proper care of our, our youngest Burlingtonians and um, you see community members and teachers uh, <clears throat> that clearly love and, and know these children so well, providing that care. We, we, we hoped we would see days like this. They've been, they, they don't happen every day. It's a really happy day to be here with you and congratulations to, to everyone who's been involved in making today possible. Uh, I really, you did a wonderful job um, properly thanking everyone that uh, these days don't happen, obviously, without just an enormous community effort. Um, I, I'm not going to re repeat all that. All of that. I do want to say a special thank you to the city team that has worked on this. Re Rebecca and Cara are here today, and they've kind of picked up the torch. Or Rebecca's been here working on it since the start. Brian Lowe was very involved in this effort for many years, and, we're, and uh, we are so thankful for. Uh, the two of you, the CETO team um, that has that that led led to this. Um, I also this has really always been something that had um, broad support within city government, and it's awesome to see current city councilor for Ward Two, Gene Bergman here, and former city council president Max Tracy. Um, this is something Max and I very much agreed on and worked on together uh, for years, and the council played a big role in keeping this uh, pr program moving forward, correcting. Uh, at times um, when when we weren't making as uh, much progress as, as we wanted to be it's really been a great collaboration and I appreciate you being here You've, uh, it's good to see you and now that we're not seeing you every other Monday night it's good to see you here um, since uh, you know I I, uh, I was raised by a kindergarten teacher my mom was a kindergarten teacher I married a kindergarten teacher um, I've always been very conscious of what an important critical role um, early uh, care, um, uh, how critical that is, what, what that does for uh, children. I've always felt strongly that we are failing as a, as a community and as a country if we are not ensuring that all of our children have, have the proper care. And we simply don't have such a system today. Um, we too, far too many of our children don't get the kind of high quality care they need. The people that work in the system are not properly compensated. Parents, um, despite that, pay way more than they can afford to, uh, to to find care solutions for their children. There are all sorts of negative impacts of this, and the best person in the country to speak to this systematically, you're gonna hear from in a moment, so I, I will get out of the way for her to speak to it. I just wanna say um, the city uh, is, uh, committed to playing a positive impact on this. We have since um, 2017 been making uh, <clears throat> capacity grants to organizations like the Old North End Arts Community School. There are now um, a, a growing list of uh, high quality child care institutions in Burlington that have gotten these grants. Those That list includes the Pine Forest Children's Center, the Robin's Nest Children's Center, the Burlington Children's Space just down the street, Sarah Holbrook Community Center on the other side uh, of the Old North End. Um, the YMCA got a substantial grant uh, for their ex expansion. Uh, all told at this point, the city has helped to create, and I, I do want to stress the help. We're very aware that uh, there are other key partners, key financial organizations that played a role. We'd like to think, it, I am, I do believe that the city's uh, money, uh, is new money coming into the space has helped leverage uh, other investment and, and played a critical role for the expansion that we've seen over the last five years. We've helped to create 120 new high quality spots in the city. 92 of which serve infants and toddlers. A 46% increase in the high quality infant and toddler spot uh, in, in the city. 
Um, this is something that drives me a little nuts about, about our system. Um, there's no doubt that government investment uh, in for infants and toddlers, for our youngest residents, um, has more impact than government spending later. There's, there is no doubt that we can do more good in, the, in people's lives in those first three years of life. And yet, America um, uh, spends less money uh, in these first three years than, than in later years. It's just, it's the reverse of what it should be. And uh, Burlington is proud to play a role in, 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 in shifting that balance and, and making sure there is at least a step towards the investment that we should be making uh, in these years. A related effort that um, is separate from the, the capacity grant program is what we call the First Step Scholarship Program. Um, this uh, is a, a, a program where uh, we make city money available to leverage and supplement the uh, funding that is uh, available through the state, through the federal government, um, and through private people's own pockets. And this effort is uh, picking up steam with every year. We are now funding 47 First Step scholarships, seven of which, my understanding is, are here at the Old North End Arts Center. And um, our goal is to continue to grow that um, perhaps as much, I think we've targeted basically another 50% in, in the year ahead. It's still incomplete, it's still not the comprehensive program that we ultimately need, but it is uh, a lot more than we had just a few years ago, and it's it's headed in the right direction. And now I'll turn the podium over to the woman that's going to make sure we finish the job, at, not just here in Burlington, but statewide, and truly create the system that we need to properly care for our our, our infants and toddlers, for our youngest Burlingtonians, and that's Allie Richards and Let's Grow Kids. The city is so proud to have been uh, partnered with Let's Grow Kids for years now, and we're so excited about where... Uh, everything that uh, Let's Grow Kids is doing and, and to partner with you to get us over the finish line and create the system we need. Thank you, Ali. Oh, coming through. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. This is a joyous day. This is a major celebration. Congratulations to One Arts Community School, Burlington, Becca, your whole team, and Mayor, you and your whole team, the city of Burlington. This is a community, it's an honor for me to be here among your community of all these folks that came together for this, for our youngest kids. And isn't that something? A city, a state, an organization, a school coming together to give our kids what they need. Yes, yes. And did you see what was happening in there? A local author was reading her book to these kids. The muralist is here celebrating with us. You know, the teachers are doing sign language with the babies. Are you seeing this? This is high quality, affordable childcare. This is what we're talking about. This is what all of our kids need. Thank you so much to the mayor. You've been an extraordinary leader, early leader in this fight to make sure that every kid has this experience. Thank you to the city for our collaboration in First Steps, in ELI. You know, and thank you to Burlington for coming together around this. This is a celebration, so I offer this context as a motivation, as an inspiration for us, all right? 8,700 kids in Vermont today under six don't have a one arts school, do not have access to the childcare they need. 8,700 kids do not have this, okay? And families who find it feel lucky, but they're paying 30 to 40% of their household income on that care. At the same time, early educators, these early educators who are caring for the next generation, they're getting $14 an hour on average without benefits, okay? None of that is okay. None of that is all right. And it makes no sense because when we figure this out together, like you're figuring out here, when we make it sustainable, when we make it long-term, when we make it available for everyone, it pays for itself immediately, immediately and three times over, over and over a lifetime, over a lifetime of our kids. So, you know, we actually recently did a calculus on that. $755 million is how much we get back immediately and annually when we take care of our kids like this. So thank you for being an example, for being a shining light for us all to look at. This is what we want for all of our kids. Becca and team, One Arts, thank you. Thank you to the mayor. Um, we need a publicly funded childcare system with a sustainable, stable investment so that every kid 
can walk through a beautiful mural like this into a wonderful environment with early educators that are respected and compensated for the incredible work that they do. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of the celebration today for everything you all do. And we're going to get this done together for the state. Thank you so much. Such a special day that we wanted to commemorate it with a, an official mayoral proclamation. I, I'll, I won't read the whole thing to you, but um, there's one stat here that I hadn't seen before that I think is a really striking stat. You guys probably helped uh, flush this out. Ali. An estimated 73% of Vermont children under the age of six are likely to need some form of non-parental care on a weekly basis. 73%. So, um, you know, the huge majority of children need a better system than we have today. Today's a step in the right direction, um, and we are going to declare, I'm going to declare as Mayor Burlington that May 6, 2022 is Child Care Provider Appreciation Day here in the city of Burlington, and further resolve that the city celebrates and thanks all child care providers in our community. Here, here. Thank you. On the count of three, we're going to say we love our school. Are we ready?